Thank you for watching Edupedia World videos. This is the introductory session of our sales report within the SAP Business One. Analysis of sales information is essential for success and efficiency of any business. Now in SAP Business One, you have different reportings for the sales module that help you in running your business. Some of these reports have graphical displays which give you good information analysis and with this sales report you can analyze sales transaction, you can view open documents, you can generate back order reports, you can view and process documents saved as in the draft mode. The sales report is found in the sales module and it is the last menu item you can see here there is an open item list document drafts report sales analysis back order there are some query reports as well monthly customer status report annual sales report by quarter let's learn about these reports one by one first is the open item list report now open item list report helps you track the status of your sales and purchasing documents but since we are seeing at sales report so we'll be focusing only on the sales documents user can find the customers that still need to pay for goods bought and the vendors that have not paid for the goods that they have bought and you can also track your missing items within the inventory you can use this report to view following document types open sales and purchasing documents including AP invoices and AR reserve invoice next is document drafts report you can use this report to specify the selection criteria for displaying the document in drafts mode you have sales purchasing and inventory document types that are available within this report selection criteria in SAP Business One, you can save most documents as draft. This lets you to change and process them before adding them within the actual transaction as regular documents. This may be required because a document is only partially filled and it will be completed later or perhaps most of the time someone knows how to fill out one part of the document but needs some help from other person or from manager the approvals and other things that come into picture so this report proves to be useful next is sales analysis report this report contains three tabs one is customer tab items tab sales employee tab the sales analysis report gives a detailed information about sales volume achieved through your customers in addition, a graphical display facilitates information analysis. This report assists you in determining the following uh, like which customer have paid the highest prices for your product. That means indirectly you can see which customer is uh, your cash cow. Next is the back order report. This report displays a list of overdue sales order and AR reserve invoices that may have not been shipped due to inventory scarcities. Since we are learning about sales, so we need to know this thing that you can use back order processing to track customer sales order received for which the inventory has not yet been shipped. Normally this occurs when available quantity is insufficient to fill the order. The back order process lets you to check how much is missing and once the inventory is replenished you can ship the required quantity to your customers there are some query reports as well which we will try to see in the coming sessions in the next video session we will start with the open item list report and cover few of these reports we will see how sales analysis graph looks like what are the settings within the sales analysis report what are the different options to view the analysis in a graphical mode or in a bar chart mode or in a pie chart mode and other things as well.